So I'm actually in San Francisco right now. I was here for a week because of work and I would say that we also get like more nostalgic and reminiscent when we're together. <laughs> so anyways, that made us reflect a little bit more on graduating then versus now, where we're at today and how we also balance the work and life this week. Stay tuned for the rest of our video. Just wanted to pop in and say hi. You know when you graduate college, people tend to say the best years of your life are behind you and there's this whole stigma of how getting older is a bad thing. For us specifically, we're in our late 20s now and I feel like now is when we're having so much more fun. It's like it's really important to know how to fill your own cup and prioritizing that and doing it more on like a sustainable basis versus reserving that on the weekends or two big vacations per year. You know, for example, in my earlier 20s, I feel like I had this tendency to go through this cycle of like grinding really hard and then like burning out. And you know what I think makes it worse is when the existential crisis hits with your job where you're like, is this it? At one of my jobs, I was pretty unhappy and it made me realize how much time I was spending at work because most of my days would be spent feeling very unhappy. Yeah, it's like 40, 50 hours of your week. And that reminds me of this quote I read. Instead of thinking, should I quit? Think about how should I rest? Yeah. I've been just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up pieces of you. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel post-workout? I feel good. And I feel like jello. My arms. Jello. Hello. I feel like, like, what does that mean? Like, freedom? If we were to, like, break that down, I feel like the most obvious part is, like, it's really nice not being, like, a real college student and, like, worrying about, like, oh my gosh, like, how much does this burrito cost, you know? <laughs> I would think in, like, food increments, like, oh, this thing costs three burritos worth. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think about it in like rent or whatever, but it's like when your basic needs are met, that alleviates a lot of pressure. I also think that as you get older, freedom for me also came from realizing like what routines I like for myself. You know, like how I want to spend my time. And I think when you first graduate, I wasn't managing my week the way that it fit my life sustainably. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, I love being in bed by like nine or 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing my like, meditation or stretching mm -hmm. and I don't feel lame if I don't go out on the weekends you know and so I think it's just having more assurance of like what works for you and what's good for you exactly and it's like well I know myself pretty well and like this is what I like this is what I don't like and then from there you can kind of increase the things that you do like but also know when to like say no because I think as you know Amy was saying like the complexity, scope, responsibilities, obligations only increase. So there's more and more people like clamoring for your attention. Being able to set boundaries becomes much more easier mm -hmm. once like we know our priorities and also like, oh, this is the thing that I need to protect for myself to like fill my cup to go back to that metaphor. We just talked about the angst mm -hmm. and I think the angst comes from a, like a lack of clarity like there's so many options in front of you and like am I missing out on something better mm -hmm. is like the grass greener elsewhere right but I think a part of like why getting older is great is like you get that sense of clarity not saying that like there's perfect clarity like that's absolutely not the case it's almost like in the beginning you're like running the dark in a maze and the more and more clarity you have, it's like a little bit more lit and you can see where you're going. Decide where you want to go next based on actual things like experience, not just this like idea that's mm -hmm. floating around in your head. I think the TLDR is that like, as much as people make it seem that getting older sucks, it really isn't as bad as it seems because in return, 
there's so many great things that happen alongside time, experience, age. So, thanks, thanks so, so much, much for watching. <laughs> I know this is like kind of a mumble jumble. Yeah, mumble jumble of things. But we hope you guys, you know, enjoyed watching. And if there's anything specific you want us to really dive into, like the then versus now postgrad, let us know in the comments. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.